My name is Cole Cross, and this is my magical ADU. This ADU is 740 square feet. It has one bedroom, one bathroom, and one very large walk-in closet. I have a very busy brain, so I appreciate a very minimal aesthetic. Uh, it's pretty monochromatic in here, but it's very relaxing. It has like a very modern but clean feel, and it's pretty wonderful to walk in here after a rough day and just it's calm, it's, it feels like a spa, and I love it. This is a relatively small space compared to most, you know, normal homes, but the ceiling, it's like a Harry Potter tent. You walk in and you're like, whoa, it does not look like this big on the outside. God, I love the bathroom. It is like a spa. Every time I walk in there, it feels, it feels like the first time. It is soothing. It, the tile that we picked. It feels like that really cool Airbnb you stayed at on like your favorite trip. That's what it feels like every time I walk in there. Yeah, I guess not a lot of ADUs have a walk-in closet, but it was something that I really, really wanted. It's not only just for showcasing, you know, your clothes and your shoes, but it's additional, additional storage and it has served that purpose really well. Uh, we have a, a window in there, so it's tons of natural light all the time. Um, we also, my peak, big brain moment was putting the washer and dryer in there and it not only it smells like wonderful clean laundry all the time but I just take things straight from the dryer and hang them up in the closet and that was is such a great idea highly recommend it I do not think someone can do any, this ADU process without Maxwell I just don't <laughs> it's it's already a huge undertaking but doing that by yourself I, I just don't recommend it uh, Maxwell knew all the rules and regulations and what I could and couldn't do. Uh, those are things that are not only near impossible to find, but constantly changing. So having them be like in the know about all that stuff, I mean, a huge headache lifted. Because I was trying to do that by myself before I found Maxible and I, it was just, it's enough to make you not want to continue. And yeah, I'm very grateful that they were just like, nope, we got this. It, it was so easy, yeah. So at the start of the pandemic, we quickly realized that my grandmother was no longer able to live on her own because a lot of her programs, like her senior center, had shut down. And being a full-time caretaker, you really do need to be able to leave work and have kind of your own serene space to unwind and remove yourself from working, essentially. So. Before we decided to move into my grandmother's house, we were looking for places close by, and this is the Bay Area, specifically Los Altos. And the housing around here is incredibly expensive, and I'm a veterinary nurse. My funds don't necessarily allow for me to live somewhere in the Bay Area by myself or just with my husband. And I also have two very large dogs that fall under breed restrictions. So even if I did have seven, $8,000 income a month, I wouldn't be able to move anywhere with two large pit bulls, 170 pounds of dog. So it was really important to us to have a place where they were also welcome because they're our family. We moved in here and started the ADU building process pretty quickly after and it's been great. I love my dream home. It has allowed me to maintain independence while also caretaking 24 seven for a family member. It's allowed us to not have to work overtime and weekends and a second job to be close to home. Being someone who is not involved in the Silicon Valley but living in the Silicon Valley, this is the only way someone like me with my income would ever be able to own a home. So this is my first home that I own that I built and not many people of my age with my line of work can say that. It's pretty magical.